Are you struggling to create compelling thumbnails that get people's attention? Today, we're going to start showing you how to build a thumbnail using Canva so you can create thumbnails for your videos that's going to grab people's attention and get them coming back. Let's get started and show you how we make our thumbnails using Canva right now. Welcome back to the channel. My name is James and I help you build your the skills that you need to be a successful YouTuber. One of the most important skills that you can develop is creating thumbnails. Thumbnails are one of the most important parts of your video and yet I see a lot of people just slapping a thumbnail together and throwing it up there. I did this a lot myself and we struggled to get views on our videos. When we started paying attention to our click-through rate and started studying thumbnail design and started studying how our thumbnails created our click-through rates went up tremendously we went from a 1.5 percent click-through rate up to about a 9 to 10 percent click-through rate on our thumbnails so one of the things that we want to do is we want to start designing thumbnails and I'm not a massive I'm not a great graphic designer but I have been learning some of the skills and I'm going to show you a few of the tricks that we've learned and how you can apply them to your thumbnails. All right, so we go to Canva. Canva is the tutorial software that we use to create our thumbnails. You can see we have a whole list of our designs. Now we have a Canva Pro account, but you can also get Canva for free. Use the link in the description below to check out Canva. This is a great software. Most of the features we are going to use today are free features you will go right here in the right hand corner and say create a design and there's a couple of ways you can just do a custom and do 1080 but uh, 1920 by 1080 you can also go right here and just search youtube and when it brings up there's youtube thumbnail so that will bring up a blank thumbnail template for youtube and there you go uh, then we can go to our uploads now we have different templates you can choose from we're gonna start and just create our own template so for the first step we're gonna add a background but we want to do more than that so here we are we are already uploaded some images and I have this one right here that's me holding my thumb up and what we're gonna do is we're gonna make this as our background so we we set up our base layer but one of the things that we want is we wanted to bring a little bit more depth of field and we see a lot of people do this with fancy cameras but i use a webcam i don't have a fancy camera yet i'm still building up to that point so i wanted to show you how if you're using a cell phone or a webcam you can create that depth of field just like they do with a fancy camera we're going to do it using tools inside Canva. Let's jump in and let me continue showing you how we build this thumbnail. So we are going to blow this up so that they're about the same size. So now I have two layers of the same one. And this is so simple. So what we're going to do is we're going to make a blurry background. We're going to go right here. You can go right here to background remover. If you don't have, this is one of the pro features, but if you don't have the pro plan, it's okay. You can use a site like remove.bg. Link will be down in the description, and you can do that for free. I'm using the paid feature. This is the only paid feature, really, that we're going to use today. Everything else we're going to use is going to be free features. I want to kind of trim it down just a little bit so that I've got you know, some room here. But you see here, I've got a duplicate of me right there. I'm going to kind of move it down just a little bit so I can move, blow it up just a little bit bigger. And I'm lining it up so that I completely cover the actual me in the picture. Now I can go right here to the side of the picture, select the picture. So we're going to select our background, which is the main picture. And we're going to go to adjust, blur, and we're just going to go up just a little bit. So we get just a little bit of a blurry background in the background of our picture. You don't want it to be totally blurred out. You don't want, I mean, you can go really far, 
But if you blur it out too far, there's no reason to really even have the background there. So we're just going to put a little bit of blur on it just to give me a little bit more depth. And we're going to move that to about uh, five, six. Uh, try eight. That's pretty good. So that gives me just a little bit of a blurry background, but my picture in the front stands out. I want to go to adjust. If you go backwards on the blur into the negatives, that kind of sharpens your image. It makes it stand out just a little bit more. We're going to adjust the brightness just a little bit. I can go up, but see, it starts making me look a little off. If I go down just a little bit, it kind of evens out the colors for my lighting. I can go a little bit of contrast, a little bit extra saturation, and that really kind of makes my picture stand out. So that's how we really added that blurry background, gave it just a little bit of depth of field. Now, if we want to make ourselves pop just a little bit more, we're going to add an outline to ourselves and a little bit of a shadow behind us. And we're going to show you how we do that in this next video that's coming up. You're going to find that video right here. And if you liked this video, make sure you give us a thumbs up and we will see you over at the next video.